Not on your side weekend morning edition is keeping you up to date with any news that you may have missed with our weekend review. We'll recap of this week's top headlines. And it just proves that what we've been doing for the past couple years is really starting to work. The area is experiencing a surge in growth as more places to shop are popping up in New Bern. Those who commit those kind of crimes at this point should be very afraid. Hanslow County Sheriff Hans Miller is implementing a new way to solve and prevent dozens of domestic violence and sexual assault cases. After multiple complaints about crosswalks in the area, Greenville is now taking action. Public Works started a project that could make crosswalks safer for pedestrians. Margaret Spellings officially takes over as the new UNC system president, but not everyone is happy. Faculty members I spoke with off camera say this was the absolute wrong hire. Others say time will tell. Oh, I think people have a lot of misconceptions about who we are. Issues surrounding the transgender community were once again discussed at ECU. Dozens attended the special event aimed at starting dialogue. Greenville artists, developers, and city leaders want to grow the city's economy through artwork. The concept that a lot of cities are now focusing on is STEAM, science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. Howard Dudley walked out of these doors and into the arms of dozens of family and friends. A Lenore County man is now free after spending 24 years behind bars for a crime he did not commit. A judge overturned a previous ruling which sentenced Dudley to life in prison for molesting his daughter. We really are preparing children for jobs that don't even exist yet. County school and business leaders gathered to discuss the state of the workforce in Onslow County. It was all in hopes of helping folks get a better understanding of jobs in the area. Another police department in the east will begin equipping its officers with body cameras. The New Bern Police Department says this new technology is changing police accountability. Over a dozen drug suspects are off the streets thanks to several agencies teaming up for a special operation. Law enforcement officers with Operation Winter Storm say drug crimes are not an isolated problem, but one that affects the entire community. They made some great strides. Growth in Uptown Greenville isn't just helping businesses, it's also reducing crime. Police work, economic growth, and better surveillance. Those I spoke with say that they're now not only seeing college kids here in Uptown, but also families as well.